Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm g and and in this episode of Sleeping Giant we are taking on Fortuna Dusseldorf at home who are currently in 7th position and then we're away to Augsburg who are down in 12th at the moment but that will be a tough away test for us. Since the last episode we've played two games, one in the cup, one in the league. The cup game against Paderborn, a comfortable enough night for us. We rotated the team a little and we got two goals in this game. Lucas Brome put us ahead on 17 minutes. We were in control of the game until injury time when Baluta made it. 2-0 uh, and we were through to the next round and if we take a look at the next round of the cup we have been drawn away to Union Berlin off the Bundesliga that's going to be a tough tough test for us I got to the third round last year Dortmund knocked us out likely to be knocked out by Berlin in this game uh, then it was back to league action away to Dynamo Dresden who are struggling in the relegation spots came away with a comfortable win this goal for Ozdemir his first since joining us on loan from Bayern Munich put us 1-0 up at half time they equalised but two goals in two minutes from Baluta and Bajai gave us a 3-1 win. And that leaves us in four positions sorry, in the table. We are one point off third position, Hostin Kiel. Of course, he beat us in the last game ahead of us. We are just three points off the top, Heidehem and Sandhausen ahead of us there in the top two. We're doing a dusted off for four points behind us. Augsburg are well behind us in 12. So yeah, 12. So yeah chance today to close that gap up if we can get a couple of wins. But we have been hit by the injury bug yet again. Uh, Tommy Setford is out for probably two weeks, so we probably missed th these two games. So Lucas Schneller comes in to start. He has played a couple of games this season, so he is okay in terms of sharpness. Other injuries, Liam Morrison has an injury. He's out for this game, might be back for the next one. But uh, Glassage comes in alongside Wilson Brown. Also missing is Felix Schmidt, so a bit limited on options on the right wing. But we do have a couple of options we can swap over there if needed. But apart from that, it is our strongest lineup. Hopefully, we can make it back to back wins in the league against Fortuna Dusseldorf. So, here we go under the lights here in Essen to take on D Dusseldorf. There is our lineup. Schneller back in goals. Of course, was our number one last season until he got injured. Then Setford joined us. He lost his place, but he's back in the team. So, no real worries about him there. We are taking on a Dusseldorf team that has an old player of ours in Dubai at centre back. But yeah. This is going to be a tough test. We have had problems with Dusseldorf since we got promoted to this division. It's not going to be easy, but a home win here would be a massive boost. Corner kick here, just three minutes on the clock. Rain to take it. Wilson Brown, of course, is the target here for him. Comes in towards Wilson Brown. He heads it all oh, into the side of the net. The big man nearly scored. Corner kick this time for Dusseldorf on the near side. They whip it in towards that near post. It's headed clear, but it'll fall back to them. And they get a ball into box. Ozdemir does well. Tackles, boots it up the pit, and Scott can't quite win it so Muller has it for Dusseldorf and they'll come on the attack again here is Dubois former player of us as they come through the middle now it's Fries for them what can he do can he serve up something here Fries to Muller Muller back to Fries goes back to Dubois he's looking for options back to Maltini and they're passing around nicely now the ball over the top for Park he's got through here Park squares it oh that was all too easy the ball over the top caught Hadjim out of position then it was squared back and finished and Dusseldorf take the lead here, just eight minutes on the clock. Dubaya to Maltini. He plays it over the top for Park. It is Hadram who pushed up, couldn't get back. He squares it to Applecamp. He finishes past Neller and we're one nil down. Into injury time at the end of the first half. Half and half off the minute gone as Muller plays it to Dubaya. Could we get level before half time or hopefully not concede a second? That's a poor pass. Bajai is onto it. Bajai one on one with the keeper. Yes! Hello, Bajai finishes it off. We're level. We pounce on a mistake against the run of play, really, because Dusseldorf have been in control, but we're back level before half time. And that is a huge boost. Of course, they broke our hearts here at the end of last season with an injury time goal to win a game 5 4. We pounced on a mistake here in injury time. Bajai true one on one. Looked confident. Slots of pass keeper into the side of net. We're level right on half time and we go into half time at 1-1 so yeah as I said Dusseldorf had been on top they'd been the better team but we get back level can we build on that in the second half throw in here Pataro to take it as we approach 10 minutes off this second half Scott back to Pataro plays a cross the ball to Rain. he takes it down nicely Rain plays it through to Scott did he stay on side can he square he can to Kite flag goes up flag goes up oh I think it was Scott in the build up had just gone outside he looked like he'd gone a little early the flag went up and we'll see now. It is going to be disallowed. Yeah. Really, really good goal. I have to say. But it's not going to count. We'll have a look at the replay here. To see. It is Scott from this ball from Rain. He just went. Oh, he's well offside. He went very early. Shouldn't have. He was looking across the line there. Good ball squared to Kite finished. But it stays 1-1. Free kick here for Dusseldorf. Coming up to the hour mark. They're trying to build something here. Can we pounce on him? Stick. No, we can't. So Park has it. Apple Kemp has scored their goal. Ball over the top. Glassage. Boots it clear. Ozdemir heads it down to Bajai. But Apple Kemp wins it back here's Park for them 
when they come down this side martini dubaya looking for options and here is fries for them can, can he turn no he can't so he plays it to muller trying to hold our shape maybe make them make a mistake like they did at the end of the first half dubaya in possession muller muller plays it down the line and now they're through here they've kind of exposed us the cross comes in it's cleared by wilson brown fries has it shot from distance oh it's in what a goal that is for Dusseldorf. What a blow it is for us. Schneller could do nothing about it. It's a fantastic shot from distance. That is a real killer. We'll see it here. A ball down the line exposed us initially. It was cleared here by Wilson Brown. It falls to Fries. He plays it down to their man. He takes the shot from distance. Schneller can do nothing about it. Right on the hour mark. With two on behind. Dusseldorf on the attack. But Bataro intercepts it. Here's Scott. Plays it back to Wilson Brown. Wilson Brown has to go back to Schneller in goals. What can he do? He plays it to Wilson Brown. The centre back gets torn. Plays it to Stocker, who's come on for Galasted, who is tiring at centre back. Stocker plays it to Scott. Scott onto Diakite. Terrain. Badjai. Badjai out to Ozdemir, who's in a bit of space here. Can he take on his man, Ozdemir, and get across into the box? He's got done well here. Diakite! Oh, how's he missed that? How has he missed that chance? Throw in here to Silva to take it. Who's just come on. Rain to Brummy. Oh, the link up. Oh, keeper. Big deflection on the cross there. And the keeper had to get across to stop the own goal. Nearly level there to a big, big slice of luck. We do have the corner kick here. Rain to take it. Can he pick out Wilson Brown? Wilson Brown is there. Oh, the keeper again makes the save. Oh, huge. Two huge saves for their keeper inside a minute. We have another corner kick here. Can Wilson Brown get on the end of it again? Let's see. Rain whips it in. No one there this time. It falls to De Silva on the edge of the box. He takes the shot. It's a terrible effort. 13 minutes left to get an equaliser. Free kick here. Rain to take it. Clips it into the box. Lobbing her. Heads it down. Stocker fires it home. Flag goes up again. It'll be disallowed. He did look well offside to be fair. Oh, just not had the run of luck in this game. In terms of the goals disallowed. But they have both been rightly disallowed. Stocker there. Thought he had his first goal of the season. It was a nice finish for the centre back. But yeah. Ball clipped in by Rain, And it actually is from the initial header from Lobbinger, he was outside. Stocker would have been outside too, I think. It stays 2-1. Corner kick in injury time to Silver to take it to the far post. Wilson Brown! Oh, he's headed it wide. Oh, we've had so many good chances to equalise, but we're going to fall to a 2-1 defeat. That brilliant strike on the hour mark separates the sides. It's another defeat at home. Oh, we were we would have deserved a point out of that game for, for sure. For absolute sure, we deserved a point. Let's have a look at the table. We're in fourth position now. The other teams have to play their game. We're probably likely to fall down the table a little. But we take on Augsburg next. And we really need a win. So a week on from that defeat. We take on Augsburg away from home. And the injury bug has hit us again. Tom Wilson-Brown is out injured for this game. A huge blow. His set piece threat is gone. So Liam Morrison comes in alongside Galasic. And apart from that, it is the same 11. Hopefully we can get back to winning ways. Early throw in here for Augsburg. Down the line here, they're trying to get across in rain, almost intercepts it, so they still have it, Augsburg, playing it across the line here, and they go backwards to a new man for them, Zimmer, in possession, cross into the far post, thankfully no one there to head it, but it comes back to Vargas, he's on the byline, but Taro can't win it, chance for a shot from distance, and Schneller has to make a good save there, tested early on in this game, only five minutes gone, Augsburg has started brightly, and are on top. This is a bit of a worry. Set piece defending now without Wilson Brown. Demir with the cross in. It's headed away by Morrison. Rain finishes the job. Comes back to Demar. Vargas on the edge of the box. Baluta with a tackle. It stays in the middle. Borg here on the attack. They've really started this second or first half, I should say, really well. Vargas has a lot of space here. He can get across. He cuts it back to Demar. Demar with the ball to the far post. Adam gets up and heads it down. And now Zimmer tries to get it back into the box. But Rain intercepts it. He boots it clear. That will relieve the pressure just for a while though because Zimmer is back here Zimmer down this side he's going to get a cross in is he Zimmer cross towards that far post Patrick Schnick oh but Taro off the post but Taro clears it Osmir will pick it up for us it stays nil nil but it's a throw in for Augsburg it's all them early on in this first half Demar in possession passing around back to their centre back over to Morales their left back comes down this side Scott trying to get back to stop it can he get a block on the cross going to play it to Demar he's in a lot of space here back to Morellas cross comes in Schneller comes for it good goalkeeping it'll stay nil nil Ogbo on the attack there but Rain intercepts it and Badjai plays the ball over the top with Diakite Diakite into the box he needs support he needs someone to come up with him he squares it Baluta hits the post Oh, almost a brilliant goal there Augsburg on the attack here we have a minute of the half remaining Zimmer to take it for them forward no he goes backwards ball over the top Bataro 
boots it clear but it'll fall to Morales and Augsburg come on the attack Vargas into the box Galasic intercepts it here's Baluta oh terrible pass from Baluta Schick oh Patrick Schick has put them in front a big mistake from Galasic at the back he really hasn't settled in since we signed him oh it's a mistake right on half time it looked like we're going to get to half time level Galasic intercepted here I think it's actually Baluta sorry who made the mistake back to Galasic it's Baluta with the mistake Schick finishes Sneller couldn't do anything about it it's a huge mistake from Baluta. I gave it harshly there to uh, Galasic, but it wasn't his mistake. Ah, oh, 1-0 down. Really disappointing. We've been in the game for sure, but Augsburg have been better. We need to improve in the second half. Throw in for Augsburg five minutes into the second half. Richer for them as they come on the attack down this side. Kovic to Richer. Back to their centre-back. Can we press on? Try and win the ball back here. May need to think soon about going to the more attacking 4-4-2 get back into this game it's Demar though for them could they go 2-0 before then Schneller makes a good save gets down pushes it out for the corner kick and Augsburg have started where they left off in the first half on the front foot on the front foot putting the pressure on as Demar crosses this in Galasic heads it clear Schick goes after it can we push out now hopefully we can it's back to their centre back Morales and it stays 1-0 see in possession to De Silva as we come on the attack Brome brought on the substitutes to try and make a difference here's one of them Brome gets it to De Silva the left back can he square it here De Silva goes himself hits the post oh we've hit the post twice in this game Scott plays it to Elsie it's back with Augsburg Schick, Schick has it for them oh Richard that's a huge chance for De Silva hits the post 11 minutes left to get an equaliser full time whistle goes here that big mistake right on half time makes it 1-0 Augsburg it's back to back defeats in this episode a huge blow to our promotion chances those defeats see us drop down to seven position in the table we are now five points off the playoff spot and six points off promotion the top two are tied on 30 points we're on 24 yeah big defeats there see us drop down behind Dusseldorf 1816 Hush and Kiel yeah huge blow there to suffer in those two games and if you look at our form it hasn't been great off late if you look at that two wins there one of those in the cup so in the league it's only one win in our last five games we had three defeats in that time and yeah we need to get back onto form as soon as possible so what we're going to do is come back in the next episode for two games the last two games before the winter break we'll take on union berlin in that cup game away from home but more importantly we take on sandhausen at home last game before the winter break they're in third position can we close that gap before the break if you did enjoy today's episode please drop a like on the video oh it's good to see more likes and that people are enjoying them don't forget to leave any feedback you have in the comments and don't forget to hit that subscribe button helps the channel to grow helps you catch every video in the sleeping giant series and there is a playlist on the channel if you want to catch up on what's happened from the start and until the next episode please take it easy <laughs>